First of all, I'd like to uh, thank you warmly for the invitation, this opportunity to participate in what is for us visual arts still a fight. We're not that far as uh, the other authors with our rights. That's why actually um, I was asked here to do sort of a testimony. And, uh, I won't be as um, fluid and, and, and brilliant in the speech as my colleague's writer is. I'm just a painter. So it's <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I'll, I'll, what I think I, the most useful thing I can do is talk about a few examples, one that concerns me. And so to give the, the, the idea why is it so important for us artists, uh, visual artists, to to get the resale right, le droit de suite, which is on its way to be generalized, but it's not that far yet. We, as an example, I think the, the important thing of this resale right is related also to the time of art, which is common to all types of art, but we, in visual arts, we produce objects, we produce things that are then sold um, and resold, and they are thought also to last. And the time of art is not the time of everyday life. It's a more extended um, time. And we need something, as you have for the copyright, that assures the continuity of our a little control of our art and also of a certain revenue, only also for our descendants. For instance, I have a daughter, a daughter which is four years old now. The only thing I will leave when I'm gone is my work. That's all what she probably she's going to have, the most important thing she will have. In the actual situation in my country, in Brazil, um, my work has been increasing in value. So, of course, after the gallery is complete, but then the market tops it and it keeps going. So, um, what's going to happen when I'm out there and all my, all my work is sold, which is basically what happens with almost most of the work. Some people, the speculators, will have made money with that, will inherit that to their children. My daughter won't have anything about it. So I think also there is a sort of an equity question that has to be thought of, because this work wouldn't have this value. It's not the speculator that makes the value of the work. It's us, the artists. And uh, so this is one very important question. Touching also this question of the importance of resale right in this longer term, I give also an example, is uh, uh, one of our most important sculptures from uh, the, the, the last, uh, the end of the 20th century, Scott Weiss, uh, Franz Weissman, died uh, 10 years ago. His family has not the means to keep the work, to, con to conserve the work. So the work is rotting somewhere in the north of Rio de Janeiro. Um, and it's going to keep happening because other people made a lot of money with that. They are not ready to just dump it in the market. They don't want to do that. They would like to conserve it and put it in good condition. But they can't, and they get, don't get anything. They just have costs with this conservation of the work. So again, there is something wrong, because these other works are circulating and making other people make a lot of money, and the family has not even money to keep the, the work you have. Um, so this said, uh, I, I would just uh, say the second point that's very important, which has also to do with this longer term, um, for me as an artist and also for my descent and the people who will study art later, from the hundreds of work that are sold, there must be 80% or 90%, I don't know what they are. I have no idea. So recently I got an email from uh, the, I live in Brazil, I got an email from the National Museum of Wellington that they had bought eight pieces of mine. How did this work get to Wellington? I have no idea. Uh, they, even they don't know really, because they bought it through ways and so. Uh, what resale right would give us also, beyond the little uh, economical compensation, is also the, the, the tracing, the uh, rest, uh, what is in English? I forgot, rastabilidade in Portuguese. Uh, the, the, the fact that you can follow your work, because if by every resale people have to register it, I will know if the work landed in New Zealand, for instance. And the day I want to do my retrospective, or if we want to do a book about it, I know what the piece is. Beyond that, for 
historians from my family. We don't have a, an organized uh, system that registers what's produced in art. So the market is sort of obscure, also our art market, so to say in a very soft way. So things just disappear. And uh, we lose completely control of that. We don't know where they go. What, uh, so when they pop up, we produce somewhere, we get 10 euros, wonderful, and that's it. So for us, the, the, the copyright, is, of course, is important, but it, we need an adaptation to our situation because our work is not always reproducible. Like a painting is a painting is a painting, as we say. And, yeah, uh, so uh, we sell the, the, the object, but yet we keep the spirit. So there is something that's not uh, not current, and uh, there is a big inequity in that. So that's why I accepted to come here and uh, tell about my experience and what I see happening in my country that actually signed uh, the Berlin Convention, but never uh, made the regulations or the laws in order to apply it. What makes also that actually when I, I, I should have right to resale in Germany, for instance, where the work, the system exists, or in France, whereas Brazil doesn't have a regulation, I'm not, I don't have this right. Uh, the daughter of a German artist gets a resale rights. The daughters of the Brazilians, the Mexicans, and all these countries that don't sign it, don't get it. So it's also like the, the art world is global now. So if we don't get uh, a general, a global idea of what how we want to organize that, uh, we will always be in this obscure thing where we lose our work, because basically that's what's happened. I mean, I have hundreds of pieces that, for me, they're lost. And I'll never find them again, probably. So that's, that's what I was uh, invited to, and I think that's what I can say about my own experience. And <coughs> thank you very much for the attention.